Hello, welcome to another video. Now this is quite um, troubling but very easy if you apply the same principle you've learned in your Calc 1. Okay, it's just diff um, integration added to some differentiation and you'll arrive at your answer. But remember, the first thing to do is make sure you don't have a constant raised to a function. You want to change this function into something that is so simplified that you could just deal with it and run with it with e. Let me show you what I mean. Let's do this. Let's rewrite this as e to the u dx. Now this is easy to integrate because the integral of e to the u is e to the u. You don't need to worry. However, that's only possible if this is du. So you want to rewrite dx as du. Remember, uh, let's not use this sign, let's use this wiggly sign, which tells us that u has just replaced the square root of x. It's important for you to do this here. So you see, I've made it simpler. Okay, so what you want to do now is, um, how do we replace the x? Let's just say, um, I'm going to get rid of this. Just write, but, u equals square root of x, which is x to the one half. What's the u dx? If you differentiate the u, it's going to be one half of x to the negative one half dx. Okay, let's rewrite this so it looks, it, it makes sense. This would be the same thing as one half times one over the square root of x dx. If you write it well again, put them together, it's going to be just 1 over 2 square root x dx. That's your du. So if we want to get du, we just multiply this by this, and that's what we're going to do here. So we say, therefore, we have du, uh, dx rather, equals 2 square root of x du. Now we can go back and replace this dx with this and we'll be good. But before we go, we don't want to take dx, we don't want to take square root of x back into a function that is using du. What exactly is the square root of x? Right there. You, and that's what saves you. So now, what we have here is actually dx equals 2u du. So dx is 2u du. Now we can take it back here. So we can have our expression that the integral of e to the square root of x dx is the same thing as if we had written e to the u multiplied by 2u du. Ooh, now we can take care of this. Firstly, you don't want the constant to bug you, so take it to the back of the integral sign. This implies 2 integral e to the u times u du. Okay. Now you have this very simple, this very simple. So you have the product of, of two functions and you want to integrate them. That will lead you to integration by parts unless you know any u substitution or we already used u. So maybe you do a t substitution or whatever substitution you want. But if we do integration by parts, I want to call your attention to this. When you find yourself with e to something and then you have a polynomial fa function multiplying it, always take the polynomial function as your, your d. I mean, take it as your, your u so that when you differentiate it, it keeps tending towards zero because if we differentiate this, it's going to give us one. You differentiate a second time, you get zero and that's the end of your work. So, I would recommend you always look out for this. Now, if it was not a polynomial function and this became was something else, you might want to switch that role and make this one the u, the one you will differentiate, okay? So, let's just do the di method quickly here. So, let's say you differentiate this and you integrate this. So, I'm going to differentiate u. So, I write it first. There's a plus sign. And... I'll write e to the u as what I am going to integrate, okay? So, now I 
use a negative sign, I differentiate this, I'm going to get um, 1. If I integrate this, it's still going to be e to the u. Well, you're not done until you get to 0 for the 1 you're differentiating when you have a polynomial function. Now, yeah, forget the train, it's always passing. Now, this now goes into a plus again, and then this is going to be a 0. Okay, when you differentiate that, when you integrate this, it's the same thing. So when you get here, you stop. Okay, once you get a zero, you stop, and this is how you go. And that's basically your answer. When you get a zero, you, you're done with your work. Don't do anything. So now let's write our answer. This answer is now going to be two multiplied, okay, multiplied by u e to the u, u e to the u minus one times e to the u, that's just e to the u, plus c, which leads us to 2, uh, let's take out e to the u, and then we have u minus 1 plus c. Okay, uh, I would box this, but remember the problem was not e to the u in the first, it was not u, the problem was in terms of x, so we just have to replace u with what u actually is, and that will be our answer. So, finally, this is equal to 2 multiplying e to the u, u was the square root of x, multiplied by the square root of x minus 1 plus c. This is the answer you've been looking for. It might look scattered because I was talking over it, but you got this. Just do the same thing. Change the function into a letter, do a substitute, u or t substitution. Um, I would recommend that you actually do a t substitution so that when you get here, you can do your integration by parts. But say you have used your u, just do the di method and you'll be fine. Okay, so basically that's all you need to know. Thanks for watching this video. If you learned something, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe so you know when the next video comes up. My name is Newton Okewoye, and don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living.